Hello again, everyone. Well, um, all the grandchildren are back with their respective parents and um, we're back to status quo, as it were. Um, after Cleo had gone, um, she made the video of, of the butterfly the other day and after she'd finished doing that, she decided she wanted to do some of the shaving foam technique and um, we got in a lovely state. She made some lovely backgrounds actually, which you'll probably be seeing in due course but in the process we kind of forgot to clean this mat and we left some of the implements that she was using on it and it became very stained so I decided I would just use some bleach to clean it off and I left it in soak and I suddenly thought using bleach was something that people had asked me about doing so I've got a little household bleach in this little pot here and this card is what I made using bleach. Um, it's a really good um, medium to use if you're wanting to colour onto a dark background, onto a dark cardstock. Not all card will take bleach in a, very, in a pleasant way. Uh, some, you know, they go a nasty colour. It depends what constituent constituent colours went into making the actual card in the first place. But this one is a very deep brown. I got it from Paper Mill Direct. Nearly all my supply of coloured card came from Paper Mill Direct in the days when they had shops. Uh, we had one locally and I couldn't resist it. Every time I went in, I had to buy a box of paper, card or whatever. And it's lasted and lasted because I don't actually use an inordinate amount of it. But anyway, I digress. This is the card I made. I used a stamp I've had for a very, very long time from Blockhead Stamps, an American company. Um, and there's a set where there are lots of little um, rectangular portions of images that make up an image like this, which I, I think is rather lovely. Um, this one I made using a st um, an acrylic block, but what I thought I might do this time would be to put this um, stamp into my Misty, my stamp positioner, because after having had all the treatment over the card here, over the top of the gold embossing, that gold embossing has gone a trifle dull. So I thought if I did the stamping in my um, stamp positioner, when I had finished all the colouring, I could put it back into the Misty, re-ink um, it with Versamark and then re-emboss it with gold embossing powder. So I think that's what I'm going to try this time. So I have my Misty right here. And I'll just put this out of the way for a moment. This one, the Enjoy Your Day, which I'm really rather pleased with, was um, a free stamp. It was one of those ones that you get with the magazine. This was the set. It was the devil's own job to get it off the carrier sheet, but I got it off. But it's stamped absolutely beautifully. So I was really, really pleased with that. So anyway, here's my uh, Misty. I'll get a piece of card. Um, that, I use this one because I don't want, intend using the whole thing. I'm going to put it up into the corner. Don't need that bit of low-tech tape. I'll just give this a clean before I position it. Mind you, I can cut the, the card down to suit um, afterwards. So, here's my... Let's pop it into there. Now, I need to take out this foam sheet because this stamp is on easy foam it's on a backing so I don't need I don't need that in there so we'll take we'll take that out okay it's right into the corner so let's start with Versamark we're going to ink it this it's a bit wet there I think we'll be okay if not, we can turn it over and we can start again, can't we? Okay. I've got no daisy to uh, edit any 
um, videos at the moment. Either she's on holiday with her father in Cornwall. So there we go. I think that's okay. Right, we'll take this out. Put my misty on one side. Get a piece of paper and we will add our embossing powder. This is Wow Metallic Gold Rich Pale Super Fine. What a mouthful. Okay. Looks pretty good. So let's pop this back into the pot. I haven't done bleaching for a very long time, but the idea of the of the, of the technique is to remove the deep colour from the card, the dark cardstock, and then you can add more colour to it. So here we go. Let's just take this up. There we go. As it's just part of a couple of flowers, you can use this whichever way up you fancy, really. So here's my, this is just regular household bleach, just the sort of stuff you clean the drain with or put down the loo or whatever. So all I'm going to do, I've got a fine paintbrush and I'm just going to spread the bleach over the whole of the stamped area, not the, the, the background part of it, just the flowers. And when you put this on, it's bet you get the best result if you can actually see a little liquid bleach just on the top of the cardstock. If you if if your um brush is so lightly loaded that it sinks straight in, you won't get quite such a good effect. So you want a reasonable amount on your brush but not so much that it kind of goes everywhere. You can see it's starting to work already. Um, as I said previously, not all cardstock is affected in a pleasant way by bleach. So as you can see, I've got a little damp there. I often just put a little on just to test what the effect of the bleach will be before I go all out and, and start stamping so here we go right you can see the colours coming out already to be honest I like sometimes not even bothering with secondary colouring I just like the effect that you can get from from the bleach on the card without any additional colouring but that's a per your prerogative you can do Whatever you like, really. I think I went slightly off the line there. I should put my glasses on my nose instead of on my head. Right. I'm going to go round again in a moment. And then the um, to speed the process up a little bit, I'll use my heat tool. So always accentuates but you see I'm going all over the um, embossing here so the gold is getting affected by the bleach a little adversely that is so that's why I thought if I did it in my stamping platform I could just re-stamp over the top re-emboss and then that gold would be nice and crisp and bright afterwards. So we'll see. We'll see. That's my notion. But uh, who knows if it will work. Let's do this one again. Yes, I have gone between two petals there. But don't tell anybody. I was thinking it was another petal and it was the bit in between. Right. Nearly there. 
Cleo was so excited to tell her parents all the stuff she'd been doing when they came to pick her up yesterday. She just loved it. She knows exactly where things are. Went straight to the shaving foam. Granny, I would like to do some of that foamy thing, please. Bless her. So she knew. Knew where the stuff was. She knows the way around my craft room. She knew where the inks were. My goodness. She probably... She said, Granny, what can I help you find today? She's often found odd dyes for me and all this kind of stuff. What can I help you find today? Right, I'm going to use my heat on this just to speed it up a little bit. So here we go. Now, a lot of that gold, of course, looks, you know, not so vivid because the colour behind it is a very similar colour now, which is why it's nice sometimes to put some extra colours in. Here, I've got some Spectrum Noir colouring pencils. I've got all sorts of colouring pencils. I've got ink tents ones. I've got watercolour ones. I've got Prisma ones. Um, I don't know. You can you, you can try whatever you've got and see. If you're using watercolour ones, you can spread that colour with a paintbrush and some water. Um, the Spectrum Noir you can use with um, their blending solution, which I think is similar to Gamsol in the States. And I can't remember what the name of the stuff is in the UK. I might think of it. I looked for a pot and I came across this instead. So we'll see. We will see. Now, if you want to, you can make it lighter by adding more, some white pencil. This, ha this happens to be a Prisma. Where's the... I don't know where the other ones are. So you can add a little, a few highlights with a bit of white, if you wish. Um, I'll just show you the effect of that. So here I've got the Spectrum Noir liquid. I've got, um, what do you call these? Paper stump. A paper stump. This one is from also Spectrum Noir. And you can just spread that colour around. So you see the other end, that one's got a bit of like a, a whisker on it. You can spread it around with your paper stump. But what I intend to do today is to put the colour back and make it in um, kind of flowing sort of effect. So I'm going to put some colour at the very edges of this flower with a pencil. This is 095 from Spectrum Noir. I've got various boxes of these things. So I'm putting the, this deepish colour it's not quite as dark as the uh, as the, the card itself but putting some of this deeper color at the edge and it's better if your card is perfectly dry if you've used a fair amount of bleach it it, it is better if it's really dry okay let's get some of this dark on the on the edges and then what i intend to do with the solution with this blending solution is to pull some of that colour further into the into the, the petals towards the centre of the flower. Okay, that's what I'm kind of after. Right. Put a bit where to put this white. I've got a bit darker there. A bit in that corner. Okie dokie. Right, dip this into the solution and then just pull the colour into the petals. Do you see? P 
Cool. Into the petals. It's ever so pretty. Look, you see? Shall I come in it? Oh, I was going to say, shall I come in a bit? My watch has decided to go AWOL. I don't know what you can see. Oh dear. Technology and me are not the best pals most of the time. Right, let's do this bottom one. Pull it in. Oops, there we go. You can get some lovely effects. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's try a bit of this orangey sort of colour. Put a bit of this in. Putting this over where I put that white earlier, just so it'll show up a bit more. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've got a tickle this morning. Right. I have to say the house did seem quiet yesterday when all the kids have finally gone. Oh, crikey. The joys of grandparenthood. Because this is so detailed, this 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 stamp, um, you can't do a lot of individually. It's it's kind of the different petals. It's it's just quite an, of a, a feel, an overall feel. <coughs> Crikey! I'm going to tickle this morning. Okay, let's have a look at the one we've already done. See what the what the difference is. They're quite similar, aren't they? Um, I could put a deeper colour in the centre, maybe put some of the brown one here. Let's try a little of this. Just If you, if you just do this in the centre, you can then whiz it round with your paper stump and push, push the colour around. See, like this. There we go. Because there's lots of tiny little places there. Okay, I'm going to pop the top back on here. Oops. There we go. Now I'll try putting this back into my Misty. And we'll re-stamp it. Reverse the mark. Here it is. Oh dear me, I'm just going to do this. I just want to make sure it is dry because I don't want the Versamark sticking to any of the liquid that was there. Versamark will hang on to things. Let's see how we go. Okay. Now we'll try our piece of paper and the gold again. I can see a tiny bit on the side there. I will sort that out presently. <coughs> oh dear me, I'm sorry about this. Heat this up. Have a look at the two and compare them. The gold on this one is much more vital, isn't it? Don't know which I prefer really. I think this one's got a bit of yellow in there, but I, I didn't use the yellow this time, so perhaps I could carry on and do do some of that around here. But it, it's a question of just playing until you get an effect that you like. I've just 
have to get this um there's a tiny tiny bit of embossing just there here i've got an ink rubber and I can just gently do this and it's gone can you see tiny bit there because i want to use some of this background you know around the around the actual image there so it's an interesting thing and, and the best thing is to just have a play and see what you like see what you like doing um obviously the first thing i can't stress enough is just test the, the card you want to use just to see what the effect of the bleach is because um you can spend a lot of time working and it you know won't 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 come out as you hope so there you go another day another something else to try um and enjoy your crafting Thank you so much for watching.